Hey Pisces, it's Nicola. I always keep me a little rag, y'all. Just be wiping my face and stuff. So let's see what message. I like rags. I know that's crazy, but I always have a rag. So <laughs> what messages do we have for Pisces? This is for January the 19th through the 25th. What guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Put that in the refrigerator bank. This is for Pisces. Sun and Rise and Venus, January the 19th through the 25th of 2020. We got two. So the first one we have is alchemical mutation. So some of you guys are changing from the inside out. Okay. Oh, necessary. You have to, you know, upgrade that DNA. You know what I'm saying? Said your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is an awake. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. So the next card we have is Star Child. So let's see here. The light of the stars exists in you. The earth wants you to share that light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you are meant to be here, that you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong somewhere else to another home in the stars. Instead, let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth, where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. I'm trying to tell you, you're looking at earth's beauty, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is for January the 19th through the 25th. What messages were God if you have Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Can you go up? Uh, no, what messages, what guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? This is for January the 19th, January the 20th, January the 21st, January the 22nd, January the 23rd. January the 24th and January the 25th. Every time I show the cards, my cat like jumps. She in my lap. She's like, <laughs> what messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? January the 19th through the 25th, 2020. All right. Let's see what we got, Pisces. Mmm, two of swords under here. Mental conflict. Tell me y'all need to block out your thoughts right now. Seven of swords, that's nine of swords. Some of you guys got a lot of anxiety, which is creating unstable thoughts. You could also be mentally conflicted by some deception or some deceptive behavior. See what we got here. <sighs> getting my nerves. <laughs> Aaron's getting my nerves. I don't know what I'm going to do with getting longer. I'm putting a fucking ponytail because I can't deal with this. Sunday here, magician here. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're taking action. Some of you guys could also be dealing, like I said, with someone that could be very manipulative with their words. With the magician here, I do feel like this is about putting things in motion, creating something new for self, speaking into existing what, existence what you desire. The magician card does talk about speech. It talks about, like, Mercury talks about communication. So some of you guys, this could be some manifestation by communication. All right. So Monday here we have the moon card here. Some of you guys... <laughs> Whew. This is you, Pisces, but this could also be your fears. I feel like some of you guys have fear in taking action here. Page of Pentacles here because you don't understand your own worth. This is a lack of confidence here. So you have a lot of things that are changing here. You have all, I told you to turn it down. I mean, you turned it off. Turn your phone on vibrate or something. So I do feel like he, them just games, y'all. He playing games on his phone, but I'm working. He got earphones. He can put them in if he choose not to. Whatever. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this has to do with your own fear. Some of you guys need to take action to create something, but you're dealing with mental conflict. You're dealing with fear that is creating procrastination because you don't understand your worth or you don't see the value of investing into yourself. Excuse me. Wednesday here we have the two of wands, so I do feel like you're at a crossroads here, really needing to make some decisions, um, especially with the two of wands, two of swords here. Those are about decisions here. But Hermit, you're very much inside of yourself. Um, some of you guys could be in a space of going through the dark night of the soul and really needing to discover what it is that you desire. So, I don't know. If, hold on one second. I don't know who that is. Okay. So, we're going to move on to the next day. I don't really know what I was saying. 
Um, but I, like I said, I think some of you guys are going through dark night of the soul right now and it's creating mental conflict. Dark night of the soul means that you're ascending. Dark night, guys, if I, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it on here. Just make sure if you um, set an appointment with me for one, you're available for the appointment and for two, you're available for the appointment. All right. So I feel like um, some of you guys are going through dark night of the soul. I do feel as though um, you need to understand that you're ascending. That's the thing here. You're questioning yourself because you're having these mental conflicts, but you're having these mental conflicts because you're releasing things of the physical nature or things that keep you bound to physical um, stuff. We're going to say stuff. So Friday here, we have temperance here, divine timing at play here. You have um, you have a good number of major arcana here. So I do feel like there are some changes that are occurring in your life right now. Um, Saturday here, we have the four of pentacles here. I feel like you're just trying to hold on. You're trying to really stay grounded. But I feel like you need to find your power to allow the changes to happen. Come from back there. Now, you was just on my lap. Now, you want to be playing behind my little thingy. She's so scared. This little girl right here. All right. So, let's just read here because I keep getting distractions. And I feel like you feel, you may be feeling distracted. Usually, how my readings work, the energy that plays around in my readings are, is usually the energy that is happening within your life. So, some of you guys, the mental conflicts are creating a distraction in your life. You're needing to face your own fears or face the what you deem as the dark side of yourself. Understand that you have, you have the, comp, not the confidence, but understand that your worth is about moving forward and ascending, not basing your worth off material things. I feel like the material things that you are holding on to is what's creating these imbalances within your life. Stop. See what I mean? Stop. Magician here. Some of you guys are lacking confidence, creating something new for yourself. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? We have Empress here. This is about creating something new and abundant for yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to allow yourself to have mental clarity in this state and allow yourself to really move forward. Some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone that could be manipulating you or lying to you. Period. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that's lying to you, especially with the seven of swords that I've seen under there with the magician and the seven of swords here. You're dealing with someone that's lying to you. I feel like you're dealing or you could be lying as well, being manipulative. For some of you guys, you could be in a space of seeing someone else um, or you could find out that someone's seeing someone else. So this is one or the other because the Empress Queen of Wands is a mistress. So some of you guys could be a mistress, you could have a mistress, or you could be, or someone else could be someone's mistress. So with the moon card here, I do feel like there is some things that are happening beyond the scenes. Why is, and I feel like some of you guys have mental conflict about that because you may not want to believe it. Seven of Pentacles here with the Six of Pentacles here. Some of you guys are at a temporary pause in action within moving forward, within balancing out a situation. You're allowing your fears to create imbalances within your life. High Priestess here, Knight of Cups, some of you guys know about some energy or something that is happening so you have the intuition that is necessary but you're very much in a space of ten wands ace of wands feeling burdened by having to move toward anything new you could also be dealing with a renewal if some of you guys have had some sort of reconciliation or something like that with someone you could very much be in a space of not trusting um your own decisions having mental conflict about that because there are some things that are happening beyond the scenes some of you guys I feel like this is you in a space of being stuck, seven pentacles here, um, in an unfulfilled, unfulfilled or unsuccessful situation, an imbalanced situation, nine of pentacles here, based off responsibilities or based off some sort of something dealing with responsibilities. There's some deception. Some of you guys, I feel like you're aware of this. That's why you're kind of within yourself about what to do. You're at a crossroads about it. So I do feel like there is some... You're at a stalemate here because of some deception, and I feel like you know that. So that's why some of you guys could also be, like I said, in the space of really needing to go within yourself. Why is this page of pentacles here? We have the hangman here. Some of you guys are needing to see the value of yourself. Hangman, I feel like you're being put in suspension by the universe because you need to allow your concerns to fade away with someone. Somebody's coming back with an apology here for breaking your heart. 
or you may be in a space of really needing to change your perspective here and allow your concerns to fade away and sever a connection here. But I feel like Hermit here, if you're dealing with the Virgo, they want to apologize for breaking your heart. I feel like you know that it's bullshit. You know that someone's that they're lying to you. Even though there's an apology, you know that they're lying to you. So with the Hermit here, and you're really thinking about what you're going to do here. And some of you guys are thinking about kind of taking action, moving towards something else. Why is this Two of Wands here? We have the Two of Pentacles. Two Wands, Two Pentacles, Two Swords. Choices, choices, choices. What do we do? What are you going to do? So I feel like for some of you guys, you're really trying to take your time and think about this, but you know what you need to do. Two of, mm -hmm, Queen of Cups here, some of y'all dealing, Queen of Cups of Scorpio energy here, some of y'all are dealing with um, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. This is a marriage, not a marriage. Y'all have children together. You could be at an imbalance or someone that has children with someone and someone's at a crossroads here. I feel like uh, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with some sort of regret, a change in emotions. And I feel like the change in emotions is what kind of has you split between your passions and your thoughts. So for some of you guys, you're needing to be nurturing to yourself at the moment. Choose the most loving path for yourself. Choose to come into your own domain. Choose to, choose to make a decision that brings happiness. But you're not going to make a decision. Because going from the two of, two of wands here to the hermit, you're not going to make a decision. You're going to go within yourself. Um, you're going to contemplate some more. So why is this hermit here? 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 Full energy here, chariot energy here, page of pentacles here, ten cups. So for some of you guys, this could be dealing with a family situation, or some of you guys could be contemplating ending a family situation, taking a leap of faith moving forward. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be dealing with cancer here. But page of pentacles here, I feel like for some of you guys, you're taking a leap of faith here and you're basing this off of research. Some of you guys are setting boundaries to some sort of relationship or so some, some sort of family situation. If this isn't you, this is someone that you're dealing with. I feel like someone's taking a leap of faith. I feel like for some of you guys, you could see the value in kind of moving forward and taking a leap of faith. But again, there's no action here. <laughs> so even though you see the value and even though you're thinking about this, Hermit is about thinking about something. Um, I feel like you're in a state of really going through a self-discovery because you are ascending. So even though you're thinking about this, you're not actually doing anything. I feel like you just want a cycle to end so that you can move forward. You want to bring balance to your life. The only way you can bring balance to your life is by actually taking action, making a move. Why is this temperature? here? So these are all about you just in a space of thinking, temperature, here, judgment here, trying to take your time making a decision. Um, but it's time to make a decision. Hierophant here around a relationship. Eight of cups. Some of y'all may feel like it's time for you to walk away from this relationship. World, ten of cups here. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Could be dealing with um, judgment is Pluto could be Pisces, um, but I feel like, or it could be Aries, because we got Aries here too. We also have Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, and Aries. So we got Aries twice. But I feel like for some of you guys, divine timing is at play here. It is time for you to make a decision. Even though you're in a space of contemplating, 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 you need to kind of, excuse my language when I say this, you need to grow some balls and make a decision. You're not moving. You're just at conflict within your own thoughts. You're allowing your conflict to keep you restricted and stuck. That's not how we handle situations like this. You go within yourself to discover the path and then you take it. You don't go within your, in yourself to discover the path and then sit there. So for a lot of you guys, you're allowed, even though you're awakened or you're aware of what needs to be done, you're very much in the space of being restricted and making that decision. Why is this four of pentacles here? Why is this four of pentacles here? We have the high priestess here. Some of you guys know that you're holding back with the three of cups here. You couldn't know also that someone's holding on to a third party or options here. So someone could have some options here trying to have patience in what they want to do. You could have options here with the seven of cups. You could also be confused about what's going to bring abundance and you're just trying to have patience while you work on removing the interferences within your life. But you're making an unwise decision. You need to look at this situation sensibly. Stop holding back and really move away from the conflicts that you have within your life. Let's see what guidance we have. Let me get this card. Yeah, this is three of ones. We already read that. So let's see 
what guidance you have. I feel like for some of you guys, you've done enough contemplating. You know what you want, but you're just afraid to move toward that because maybe you feel as though you're making an unwise decision. You're being gifted. You got a second grade wisdom, meaning you're being gifted with the wisdom you need to make the necessary decisions. Use that wisdom and make adjustments. Unfoldment. Lotus. Allow the situation to unfold. Hold on, I'm messing up here. I want my cards every which way. All right, so let's uh fix this. What messages do we have? The Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Moving forward. What messages or guidance do we have for Pisces? Nurturing here. Some of you guys are needed to nurture harmony within your life. I feel like you're not in harmony within yourself because you realize that there's things about you that need to heal. Okay, you know what you need to do. You have the power to heal it, but it's power. Lightning also talks about taking action. Some of you guys need to nurture taking action and allow yourself. You can't heal if you don't allow yourself to feel the pain in order to heal. So some of you guys, the reason why you're not moving forward is because you're afraid of feeling that pain movement harmony the movement brings you harmony some of you guys need to snatch the damn band-aid off so that you can go through what you need to go through this is all i have y'all peace